In 2015, Google published a two-year study which explained how to make great teams. There were five major dynamics, psychological safety, dependability, structure and clarity, meaning, and impact. Among them, psychological safety stood out the most. Harvard Business School professor Amy Edmondson coined the term psychological safety. According to Edmondson, psychological safety is a belief that one will not be punished or humiliated for speaking up with ideas, questions, concerns, or mistakes. Do you think your workplace is psychologically safe? Are your meetings silent or people interact and ask questions? Does the team bounce off ideas, call for action, or solve problems? Or are they quiet and no one voices their opinions? In this video, we are going to discuss psychological safety and how it is essential. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Psychological safety is a zone which allows the members of the team to share their belief, admit mistakes, and be curious without being exposed to interpersonal and social derision. Interpersonal threats prove to be a great hurdle for innovative ideas and developing capabilities. These threats can be directed to the person as incompetent, ignorant, or disruptive. Research shows that such environments stop creativity, talent, skills, and active learning in the workplaces. So why psychological safety is important? Psychological safety is significant in all aspects of the workplace. It is the foundation of a high-performing team. Psychological safety enables better companies' growth, faster adoption of market trends and technologies. It is beneficial to be aware of your employees' shortcomings in a psychologically safe environment so you can detect problems early. This way, your company will not suffer some catastrophic risks as many people are feeling unsafe in the environment and thus given terrible work input. Psychological safety in workplaces also helps in bonding and quality teamwork. The individuals are respectful of others' struggles and help them to find a solution. Psychological safety allows the team members to safely express their feelings of vulnerability and lack of knowledge. The team members show mutual trust, respect, and interest in each other. They do not attack the personality, character, knowledge, or competence of other members. They shouldn't argue with any person over holding different opinions and expressing them. But how to introduce psychological safety in the workplace? Up till now, you have understood that psychological safety is an important factor for organizational and personal growth. So what measures could ensure that your workplace is psychologically safe? First, encourage listening. The leaders should encourage active listening. Listen to other people's perspective, concepts, ideas, thoughts, and interpret them. Give feedback after listening and ask some questions to encourage the speaker to share further. Second, develop and change mindset. We all have a developed mindset. We just need to change our mindset. Make a conscious effort to judge less and learn more every day. Psychological safety will make sure that people respond to others' input with kindness instead of sarcasm or ridicule. Moreover, criticism should be taken as feedback and the people should work on their weaker areas. Set your example. The leaders should set up effective examples to introduce psychological safety in the workplace. They should make inclusive decisions ask the shy ones to speak their opinions and constantly ask for feedback. The best thing is that the leaders accept their mistakes and respect the different opinions of people. They also should be more approachable 
so the employees could ask questions without feeling intimidated. Create the environment. The leader has to create a psychologically safe environment. They should ensure that no one judges other people. They do not interrupt or try to change each other's opinion. Everyone should be accepted and problems should not be blamed on any person. They have to fight against the mistakes and problems instead of fighting with each other. Acknowledge others. Everyone needs acknowledgement of their work and ideas to feel psychologically safe. The leaders and team members should encourage listening to crazy ideas and suggestions. They should also provide positive feedback for good tasks to create better relations. One last important element to take into consideration when introducing psychological safety is to measure it. As a leader, you can periodically ask your team how safe they feel and what could enhance their feeling of safety. You can create anonymous surveys on psychological safety and other team dynamics and ask people to answer these. Some teams at Google include questions such as how confident are you that you won't receive retaliation or criticism if you admit an error or make a mistake? If you create this sense of psychological safety on your own team starting now, you can expect to see higher levels of engagement, increased motivation to tackle difficult problems, more learning and development opportunities, and of course, a better performance. Building a high trust team is a journey. It begins with the leader being really clear on what behaviors are required to improve team performance. Leaders who have the skills to not only create a mentally healthy and supportive environment, but who are not afraid to push people out of their comfort zones. Of course, this takes time and commitment. Stick with it and you'll have a powerful group of collaborators who work together for the good of the team, even during tough times. That's our wrap of psychological safety. Does your workplace ensure psychological safety? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.